Like what Katniss Everdeen said on Catching Fire, I'm an open book. Hindi ko kinakahiya kung ano ako, mistakes, or awards, halos lahat na nakakilala sa akin alam yan. Kaya nga sa totoo lang, ang hirap ng gawin tong autobiography na AVP na to kasi alam ko namang alam nyo na mga sasabihin ko. Pero sasabihin ko pa rin para naman dun sa mga medyo nahuli ng pagkakarating sa buhay ko or dun sa mga dumating ng maaga tas medyo nawala. Tara, kwentuhan tayo. Nung nasa sinapupunan pa lang ako ng nanay ko, sabi ng doktor, lalaki daw ako ayon sa ultrasound. Kaya naman ang mga gamit ko tulad ng crib, stroller, mga feeding bottles, ay kulay blue. Kaya nagulantang ang lahat nung linabas ako, Diyosa pala! Patrick Lewis ang napag na ni Mama na pangalan ko. Kaso may umentrang doktor. Pang lalaki daw, ang pangit daw. Hmm, ang ganda kaya. Astig nga eh, lalo na sa spelling. Sayang, napalitan tuloy ng Patrick Shamay. Pero ang ganda pa rin naman. Kakaiba ng spelling, pati ng pronunciation. Patrick siya ha, hindi Patricia. Nung bata ako, ang daming nagsasabi na ang cute ko raw. Mukha akong Korean dal. Hanep raw yung kilay kong nagsasalubong. At panalo rin raw ang malago kong buhok. Tapos, bibong-bibo pa raw ako. Kaya ayan, masayang masaya silang pinasasayo ako ng mga sayaw ng sex bomb o anumang dance hits na mga panahon na yon. At masaya rin silang kinakausap ako dahil ang daldal ko daw. Ewan ko ba? Confidence at its best talaga ang peg ko. Bata pa lang ako, masaya na ako nakakapagpasaya ng ibang tao. Hindi ako nagsimula na church kid talaga. Atendi lang kami ni mama. Kaya, as you may say, hashtag carnal. <laughs> Maraming pagkakataon na nabigyan ako ng chance upang maging artista. Pak and Curtis agad-agad. Andiyan ang Rejoice Shampoo na commercial, All Your Makeup for Teens, at pasado rin ako sa audition ng Little Miss Philippines noon sa Itbulaga. Kaso, sa lahat ng opportunities na to, hindi natuloy at naiintindihan ko kung bakit. Narealize ko ngayon, kung nagtuloy-tuloy ang mga chances na ganyan, at nagtuloy-tuloy nga naging artista ako, maaaring hindi ako ganon ka-dedicated sa Panginoon sa ngayon. Kahit mataas ang confidence level ko, nandun pa rin naman ang inferiorities. Nung bata ako, madalas akong inaasar ng mga pinsan ko na ang ganda ko daw. Oo, ang ganda lang. Sintunado kong manta, ang tigas ng katawan, at panguraw ang ilong ko. Kaya naman pag may talent portion sa school, tumutula na lang ako. Pero take note, lagi namang panalo. Takot ako sa daga. Takot ako sa blue tiles ng swimming pool. Kasi pakiramdam ko, yung shadow nun, whale or shark. Takot din ako maiwan mag-isa. But I woke up one day and said to myself, No more fear, spam. God is with you. Therefore, you can conquer anything. It's not easy having a single parent to raise you up. Because everything you do, reflects of the mistakes of the past. I have to prove myself to everyone, especially to those who left me, that I am so much better without them, and I still can go on without them. No, I really don't like to push people away. In fact, I would like to take a step and chase after them. It's just that I can't afford to feel that horrible feeling of being left out again. So instead of being clingy, I just let them go. To be better in every moves I have already made. To be stronger in each day that would come. To be fearless. Cause like what my philosophy professor in first year college told us, by the end of the day, you are alone. They say I am strong. No, 
my Lord is strong. As time passed by, in every problems and chastisements of the Lord, I just thank Him and trust Him, because I know everything happens for a reason. This day is a celebration of God's faithfulness to me and to my mom. He have given me so much. People say, my mom is blessed to have me as her daughter. No, I am blessed to have you guys because you are all the reason of who I am now. With all the gains I am having and all the praises you have said and will say to me, all of these are because of God's faithfulness to me. God has fulfilled His part as my father. He has given me a mother who have loved me so much, who is strong and have courage to fight for me. He has given me Tita Jeannie and Lolo Siling who stood as my other mother and my father and they have given me their time, their selves, and this would always be more than enough. My God have surrounded me with people that have loved me whatever I may be and He have provided me everything. I am glad to share with you this night as I reminisce and celebrate the life God has blessed and made worth living. I, Patricia May de Jesus Santos, forever blessed and humbled by God's grace. This night, this is me, witness how God worked on my life.